About 27 miles northwest of Plymouth is Boston. The settlement began 10 years after the Mayflower arrived at Plymouth. Since then, this city historically developed as the core of New England. Boston also staged a major historical event, the American Revolutionary War. Walking through the back streets, the appearance of this serene ancient city can still be found. Every year in April, the Boston Marathon is run. Since its opening in 1897, it is the longest running marathon event in the world. The marathon originated when a messenger ran a long distance back in ancient Greece. It is said that the Boston Marathon was also taken after a great messenger that ran through this land. That messenger was Paul Revere. He is the one Revolutionary War hero that everyone in America knows. In the mid-18th century, Boston had grown to become the largest city among the American colonies. It also became the center of the Revolutionary War. It has left its mark all over the city until this day. The British colonial government was established here at that time. In 1770, an incident occurred in front of this building that sparked the American Revolutionary War. It was the Boston Massacre. British troops fired at a mob of people rebelling against British control and killing five civilians. This is the famous engraving that spread the news all over the colonies and turned public opinion towards independence. The man who created this engraving was Paul Revere. Three years after the Boston Massacre, the famous Boston Tea Party occurred. Citizens who opposed the taxation of tea, disguised as Native American Indians, boarded the ship and dumped all the tea into the sea to protest. Paul Revere was part of a rebel squad that consisted of 60 men involved in that mission. Revere was also a messenger racing on horseback between Philadelphia, New York, and Boston, playing a huge role in influencing the Patriots' movements. North End. The serene city streets are preserved as a historical district. Paul Revere's house still remains in this area. It is the oldest wooden house in Boston. Born in the North End District, Revere, at the age of 37, bought this house and made it his home. Paul Revere was a silversmith. It was a family business that his father, an immigrant from France, began. This silver tableware was made by Revere. His craftsmanship was said to be of the highest quality. The copper engraving of the Boston Massacre was a reflection of his fine craftsmanship as a silversmith. Soon, Revere became a representative craftsman, taking part in America's independence movement. But after all, he was just a silversmith. The reason why he is considered a hero of the War of Independence is because he contributed to the Revolutionary War by carrying vital information from Boston on horseback in the middle of the night. This event was expressed in a poem written by the great American poet, 
Henry Longfellow, which led to Revere's fame. The now famous The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere is well known nationwide.